Your generosity fuels all of Westside's efforts to make disciples, equip families, and share Christ's love here and around the world. There is no child that we will not accept that comes through our door. Um, we want every child to feel welcome. We want every child to feel loved. I just remember thinking that was, that was amazing because it didn't feel like we had to teach them how to care for her. They just took her on and they treated her like every other infant and child they cared for. Meeting them where they are, finding what their needs are, and meeting their needs is a great way to love someone into the church. I think it's really important that we acknowledge that these families are in our community and that we provide an open door and we provide a safe place. It was great that we connected with a dad right away that had another child with Down syndrome, um, so that made us feel more at ease. Uh, we did not know that there was a special needs ministry at all. Um, we walked in and we have an expectation of Molly that um, when, she's, when she's somewhere like this, that she has full inclusion and the church was more than accommodating for that and you know we just love it for that. I am excited that Westside has this ministry and I, I do uh, see it growing. Families with special needs kids a lot of times don't get times to themselves. For them to be able to go to an hour service by themselves without having to worry about their child, it's extremely important. It was great to see this year at Kids Gig our special needs kids and their buddies dancing and singing and playing and running around and having a blast just like all of our other kids were. A lot of parents who have special needs don't get a chance to come out uh, to have a night off. They can't just hire the babysitter down the street because their kids have special needs. Our special needs respite night is a night for parents to get out and either get out on a date night for themselves and or take their other children that they have out to do something that maybe they wouldn't be able to do or they can't do because of having a special needs child. I think it helps support our parents during the week and not just on Sunday mornings and I think it also helps us build um, rapport within the community and letting the community know, hey, we're here and we love special needs kiddos and they always have a welcome door at Westside and I think that's a really important message to get out. We've had so many people that made us feel so comfortable with, with her and she's got lots of friends here that love her and we just we just feel comfortable that she can she can be in a classroom setting. But for some of our special needs kids, they need a quieter room, a more sensory oriented room, and so we developed our special needs room to meet them right where they are and help them adapt um, to their needs. I'm glad that West I'm proud of Westside for having every level of needs met. I feel loved when she's loved on. Um, yes. I want to personally thank all of our parents and staff who support our special needs ministry at Westside. It's such a huge blessing to every parent and child who walks in our door. You helped make these blessings possible through your faithful giving. Thank you.